Coming at you from the greatest state in the union. Welcome to Are You Lethal? Yeah. Yeah. Steven, stop going through my closet. But it feels so pretty. Welcome everyone, this is Are You Lethal? I'm Steven. And I'm Brittany. And today we're talking about showing off while driving. Now this is a bit of a painful subject for me since I've always driven a car that I would rather not be seen in. Really? I liked your Saturn. My grandma had one just like it. Not cool, Brittany. Just saying. But for many teens, getting your license, getting your first car, and then wrecking it while you impress your friends is almost a part of the way of growing up. Yeah, if you can call that growing up. Look, we all appreciate being liked, admired, and envied. Come on, revving your engine, going fast, burning out says one thing. I own fast things that hopefully take the attention off how dumb I look. Plus, if statistics are accurate, you may end up wrecking your stupidity decoy and have nothing to hide behind, except your tombstone. Look, even professional show-offs only take calculated risks, and never while driving a car. Hi, I'm Brittany, and I'm here with Austin Coleman and Dan C from BMX Pro's Trick Team. So what do you guys do to ensure your safety and avoid collisions on the ramp? We don't just go huck stuff over a ramp and hope it works out. We, we, we play it pretty safe. The most important thing is wearing your safety gear and that kind of gives you a boat of confidence and there's nothing more safe than having confidence. We calculate what's happening, we know the risks, we know what we're getting into. We, we know what we're doing before we do it and that for the most part will keep us safe. You guys are traveling across states. How do you guys stay focused? How do you keep your mind in the game? I spend a lot of time driving these ramps uh, from state to state, so I obviously get tired and, and worn out late night drives all through the night. And same thing with riding. I know that if I do doze off, if I don't stay focused, um, you know, something really bad could happen. I think the same could apply with, uh, with driving. If, something, if you do doze off, if you don't stay focused, you could definitely you know, make a big mistake. And I think in a car accident, will probably hurt you a lot worse than uh, us falling on our bike. So either way, you've got to stay focused 100%, otherwise something bad's inevitably going to happen. When do those injuries happen? When you least expect it. Exactly. Literally when you least expect it. When, Just like you were saying, if, you, if your focus goes off even for a second, you're just thinking it's too easy or you think something is, is simple and it's, it's really not, you take it for granted. It's, it's a high risk sport regardless any way you look at it and, and the best way to do it is to be prepared, um, stay in practice and, and don't let your mind wander or drift off, anything like that. That was sweet. I want to be them when I grow up. I'll pass that on. Thanks. To your psychiatrist. Jerk. I was impressed by their tricks, but more impressed by, by their biceps? No. Well, a little bit, but no. By their commitment to staying safe and not being pressured to try something that could result in an injury. Yeah, I guess it comes down to this, guys. What would be more impressive to your friends? Getting to your hangout on time or the shiny new rims on your wheelchair? So let's take a moment to hear a positive message from a concerned friend. Oh, hey kids, it's totally rad you came back for another positive message from a concerned friend. Listen, I'm just like you, you know, I like to have fun and I like to show off, I like to have a good time. After school, I'd get on my bike and go home and do my homework, right? Because fun can wait. Educate. Driving fast? No. Being a top-notch mathlete? Yes, please, okay? Other kids didn't know it but I could hear them whispering about me. I knew what they were probably saying. He's so safe. Here's a little ditty that can remind us not to show off, okay? Good, clean fun. Showing off behind the wheel is as dumb as it can be. Why would I drive like that when I can't live till I'm 43? It's a work in progress, people. <clears throat> so let's decide that today is the day to make a change. First, secret secrets are no fun. Secret secrets hurt someone. All right? Second, if you want to show off for your friends, maybe we could pick up some trash on the way to school. <laughs> See, if we all pitch in, together we can fill the trash bin to heal the mess within. And then we all win. Like that? Oh. 
So what do we learn today? The only time to show off is to show off good grades. When we're watching TV and there's some negative racial stereotypes, we turn the show off. See how I did that? Show off. Hey, that's your positive message. Wow, that was so confusing. So much passion, so little focus. Which brings us to feedback. In Stockton, it's Renee asking, can anyone enter the Create Real Impact contest? Hey, Renee asking. Yep, anyone who lives in America and is between the ages of 15 and 20 and whose creations don't suck. Simple enough. Be sure to visit createrealimpact.com for more information. And with that, keep asking yourself. Are, are you, you lethal? lethal? Street racing, uh-uh. Banana seat bike with helmet, knee pads, and a basket for my books. I'll take one of those. Thank you very much. All right? 